be an independent DeFi investor and find your edge, you need to be able to find yield farms and pools yourself. In this video, we'll go through tools to find, track, and monitor yield opportunities on the Solana network. Welcome back to the DeFi 101 course. This course is made with support from the Solana Foundation, and it's designed to take you from a crypto investor to a crypto user. You can find a link to the full course playlist as well as supplementary written materials in the video description. Now let's get into it. First, why does any of this matter? Yield farming is one of the most powerful ways to earn on-chain but the best opportunities are rarely available for long. They require you to do your own research and be early. The best returns often come from spotting something before the crowd does, before that pool's edge and emissions have been diluted. But how can you consistently find DeFi pools early? The key is this, build a system that helps you spot real opportunities, track your risk, and rotate intelligently. In a way, it's like investing in early round companies or in crypto tokens, but instead of buying a share or a token, you're deploying a few assets like Sol and your time into yield earning pools. To start, let's look at the data layer. This is where you track pools that have actually gained traction. To start, we're gonna use a tool called DeFi Llama. DeFi Llama is one of the most powerful tools for finding DeFi and yield opportunities. In fact, DeFi Llama has one of the most comprehensive yield dashboards in crypto with nearly 20,000 pools tracked. To start, we're gonna click on the yield tab over on the left-hand bar. This is gonna bring up a list of all the yield pools that DeFi Llama tracks, and next we'll filter by chain to Solana specifically. This is gonna show us all the pools that are available on Solana. This will range from huge liquid staking pools to smaller pools that may only have $10,000 worth of deposits. At the top of the page, you'll see an array of filters which can help you narrow down pools to things that fit your risk tolerance as well as the assets you want exposure to. In this example, we will filter specifically two pools that have Cheeto Soul in them. Cheeto Soul is an asset we've shown you how to get in this course, but maybe you want to lend it out or otherwise use it to earn yield. So we click on the appropriate filter and then select Cheeto Soul. Next, we want pools that fit a few criteria. To start, we want them to be audited. This removes one element of risk. Second, we want some minimal TVL. If something's too small, you can't really deposit any size into it, and it means that not that many people trust it. But we don't want it to be too big because that means it's already diluted. So what we'll do is we will filter to pools that have over $100,000 deposited. Finally, we want things that don't have impermanent loss. This means that it's gonna be tokens like Jito Soul and Soul together, rather than Jito Soul and some other token that's could be wildly diversion in price. Once we've set those filters, now we want to sort by APY. And just like that, we can see the pools that fit our criteria and have the highest possible returns. The next tool we'll use is Step Finance. Step gives you a unified dashboard of your yield farming positions, but it also services top pools from across Solana and shows their APYs in real time. This makes it easier to reallocate quickly when something's no longer worth it. This is powerful both as a discovery tool and a portfolio tracking tool. To stay nimble. But where exactly should you be farming on Solana? One protocol you can check out is Orca. Orca is historically one of the highest volume decentralized exchanges on Solana, and it has powerful features like concentrated liquidity allow you to earn higher yield. Orca is especially powerful for token pairs that are not subject to impermanent loss. Another platform that you may want to yield farm on is Radium. Radium's pools are not quite as dominant as they once were, but they still have a lot of great features and still offer some pools with additional yield farming incentives. Additionally, Radium has both normal pools and concentrated liquidity, so they have something for everyone dependent on what your skill level is. As you start to yield farm, you'll also need to be monitoring trends and tracking real-time detail. BirdEye is a powerful tool that shows real-time price and volume data across Solana. You can head to the trending section to filter for pairs with rising volume but low liquidity. That's often where the next farms will launch and often a good place to look for yields. Just be aware this doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a good yield farm. It just means that's where attention is moving. Another tool that you may want to look at is Sonar Watch. Sonar Watch is another portfolio tracking tool where you can view your farming, staking, and wallet positions across Solana. Think of it kind of like your command terminal for yield farming, and it can help you to manage strategies across a variety of platforms. Another powerful but more advanced tool that you can use is wallet tracking. By finding whales or other power DeFi users on Solana and then following their wallets to see which applications they're using, you can find out what smart money is using before it actually catches on with the rest of the crowd. But before you deploy, be aware that most high yield pools also come with high risk. Contracts might be unaudited or deployed by anonymous teams. 
Additionally, emissions-based TVL, that's token rewards, can disappear overnight. Also be aware that airdrop hunters might be farming, not using. So when you're assessing a pool's viability and bullishness, be sure to take that into account. Also, if a pool ever requires you to hold the reward token, be aware that you're getting diluted by those rewards. Always check things like whether a contract is verified and deployed by a project's official address. Are rewards tied to fees or just inflation? Rewards tied to fees will have longer longevity. What happens when emissions end? Does usage hold and the APY holds up or will it crash? You can also use tools like rugcheck.xyz to vet deployment contracts yourself and ensure that they're safe. And there you have a few tools to find new yield farms and pools on Solana yourself. If you want updates on the latest yield opportunities that the Dynamo DeFi team finds, as well as deep dives and weekly crypto breakdowns, head over to our newsletter at newsletter.dynamodefi.com. And for more tutorials like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the rest of the DeFi 101 course. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.